Every so often, fossilized whale and dolphin bones are found that show that they were bitten by the megatooth shark Megalodon. Megalodon is the largest shark that ever lived. This fossilized dolphin tail vertebra was found along Calvert Cliffs. It's about 16 million years old. This small opening along the top of the vertebra is where the spinal cord would have extended along the length of the bone. From the size and shape of the vertebra, we know that it came from near the end of the dolphin's tail. In this illustration of the skeleton of a Miocene long-snouted dolphin, it would have been one of the blackened vertebrae just in front of the tail fluke. It's unusual because it preserves diagonal gouges along both sides of the vertebra. In a normal dolphin tail vertebra, these gouges should not be there. Gouges like this could only have come about if the vertebra were forcefully wedged between two adjacent megalodon teeth. Notice though that each gouge represents a separate bite by the megalodon. So it bit down very hard on this vertebra at least five times. That to me suggests that the dolphin was still alive when it was being bitten and that megalodon wanted to disable the dolphin's tail so that it couldn't swim away. We know that modern great white sharks will bite the tails of dolphins to keep them from swimming away. Perhaps Megalodon employed a similar feeding tactic. It's fossils like this that show that there were interactions between Miocene dolphins and Megalodon.